Let's bring in Dr. Mark uh, Goulston. Uh, doctor, what is the best way uh, for this reunification to take place, beginning with that first reunion that could take place within hours? Well, I think the key is, is that uh, the dad just uh, show his son how, how glad he is to see him. I think the dad should resist the temptation, as everyone should, to race in and imagine uh, what the what the, the son is feeling. I, I think what's important is what you get uh, your son to tell you, as opposed to what you tell him. Uh, don't don't overload him with all kinds of things that you think he might be mm -hmm. thinking of or worried about. Uh, you know, field his questions and, and, and again, be positive, uh, so glad you're coming home uh, or coming to another home. Uh, also, don't try and talk him out of whatever feelings he has for his Brazilian family because that has yet to be figured out in terms of his future. So you don't want to put him in the position of making someone wrong and being in between uh, because he's going to be confused enough as it is. So you're just saying let the little nine-year-old talk and don't try and analyze it any more than you have to. Right, because a lot of times you will we'll put on him that he's thinking about all these kinds of uh, questions that we imagine he might have and he might just be asking you how long's the plane ride right yeah something simple like that okay dr goulston what kind of contact should little sean have with the family in brazil should there be a time when he's just with david goldman or do you keep them in the mix how, how, how to best work that out well i think initially he should be just with david goldman uh, until he kind of adjusts to the fact that this is where he's going to be living now uh, uh, from now on. Uh, again, I, I think the emphasis should be that this shouldn't be a time to make one, one party or the other party wrong. Uh, mm -hmm. If he has questions, just answer them factually. Uh, I assume that his Brazilian family, uh, even, even though he was abducted, loved him. And so you don't want to make that love wrong and allow him to open up at his own speed. Something that's very helpful with young children, especially boys, is, is uh, doing activities with them. Mm. Uh, uh, also, when you're driving in a car with them, that, that's a good time when you, to have a heart-to-heart -heart talk when you're not in each other's face. Kids, kids hate heart-to-heart -heart talks, if you haven't <laughs> noticed. And, yeah. and so when you're doing that, just, uh, uh, just, just having regular conversation. But again, the key is to not let your anxiety or, or assumptions that you know what he's thinking to crowd what he's really thinking and, let, and allow that to come out at its own time. Right. Good advice there, Dr. Golson. Great, great stuff.